Illinois Terminal 784 was built in December of 1955 by EMD as an SW1200. She served the IT as 784 for 12 years, then becoming 1210 in 1967. She served the IT for several more years until becoming part of the Norfolk and Western in November of 1981, where she would only serve a handful of months before becoming part of Norfolk Southern. In March 1988, she was retired by NS and sold to the Sequatchie Valley Railroad, where she would haul coal. Around 1989 or 1990, she was renumbered to 1488, along with her sister locomotive 1201, renumbered to 1688 on the SQBR. In the early 2000s, she was renumbered to 1210 again. During the 2000s, she was placed in and out of service, but during the end of the 2000s, she was used more often. In 2010, 1210 was retired and placed at Richford, Alabama, where she would sit for seven years. In the late 2010s, 1210 was purchased by the Knoxville Locomotive Works for a plan to have it repaired and returned to service on the new railroad. Sadly, that plan fell through, and 1210 sat for another three years. In 2020, the Monticello Railway Museum stepped forward and purchased 1210. This action had saved the little switcher from meeting the torch. On November 19th, 2020, I made a trip down to see the switcher before she left and noticed how she was renumbered to her original number, 784. She appeared to be prepped and ready to go. Well, on November 30th, 2020, 784 had left the Sequatchie Valley Railroad's yard for the first time in 32 years. She had begun her 500-mile journey to her new but old home where she once used to roam back in her Illinois terminal days. February 13th, 2021, 74 had arrived at the museum where she was quickly placed in their facilities where she'll be evaluated and restored to operating condition. You can help them money sell railway museum by donating to them. Link is in the description. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening to the history of Illinois Terminal 74. More history videos will be released of the Sequatchie Valley Railroad's locomotives in the future.